Hello viewers, welcome back to the Moose Mobile uh, Auto Repair Channel and today I have a 2015 Toyota Sienna and it has the 3.5 liter engine and this particular Toyota has the all-wheel drive system and we are going to be servicing the, the front transfer case and the rear <laughs> differential now this particular all-wheel drive system uh, it has a transfer case that's in the front and then you have the drive shaft that's going to the back where it connects to the rear uh, differential so we are going to be servicing both so as you can see here you have the rear differential over here we have the fill and the drain plugs and you can see the drive shaft is over here. It's connected to the rear and going all the way to the, the very uh, front of the vehicle here. So right now we are just going to uh, to open up the uh, the fill plug first. I believe this is a ten uh, millimeter. If you're ha having trouble trying to get it open, you can use like a pick to clean the rust out. If, if it's dirty, you can clean all the rust out of here. You can use like a pick or a screwdriver or something. So I got myself a, a quarter uh, ex extension or, or half extension. And put it through here. The... Uh, Drive shaft is in the way, so you might have to turn it so that it's not in the way. You can use an extension or just or just the the the, the bit itself. This is a, a ten millimeter uh, Allen or or hex bit. So we're gonna put it in here. Grab ourselves a small hammer just to make sure it's in all the way, so you don't. Uh, round off the plugs make sure you open it up and do the same for the bottom one uh, 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 as well we're going to uh, remove this. There's a washer here, a gasket. Hasn't been replaced in a long time, so uh, I'm going to see if I have a replacement for the, the gaskets. Sometimes you can use a screwdriver or a pick to uh, to get these off. So we're going to try to replace these if we have replacements. So now we're going to do the same for the the bottom one, bottom plug. It's open now. Grab yourself a uh, drain pan. Over here, you probably want to, to clean the magnet off from the, uh, the drain plug. So 
so I got re replacement uh, drain gaskets so I'm gonna put this one here and replace it this one is the one that has the magnet so it, it should go at the bottom so we are going to close this up I, I will put the the torque specifications on the screen somewhere so we're going to tighten this up we are going to fill it up with the 75 w 90 gl5 gear oil so i'm just using a drive line filler tool or dispensing tool so we are going to fill it up now So we are going to keep on filling it up until it uh, drips out. So now you can see it's uh, dripping out. Once it's like a, a steady stream or, or trickle, then it sh you should be uh, all good to go. So once it's a, a steady stream, then you should be all good to go. Uh, earlier I closed the plug up you can see there's fluid coming out now so we're gonna close it I'll put the uh, capacity and the uh, the specifications on the screen for you guys to see so we are going to uh, tighten this up Now we're just going to wipe down the area and wash everything down with some brake cleaner. Make sure you clean everything down well so there's no leaks and so it's to keep the customer happy so they don't come back with an oil leak. So make sure you, you don't be a cheapskate with the brake cleaner. You use a generous amount. Make sure to clean everything down. And because that on this model it has the plate here to uh, protect the, uh, the differential. It, it sometimes it, it it makes a mess because it it spills uh, all over on the on the plate. So now we are going to proceed over to the transfer case now. So now we are at the front transfer case here. I forgot to mention earlier that uh, I usually use the the digital uh, leveler gauge to make make sure that the vehicle is on level ground and it's it, it, it's leveled up w when the vehicle is is raised in the air because you want to make sure it's close uh, as possible to uh zero degrees um, i'm not able to show you guys at the moment because uh i lost mine and uh, i'm i'm i've been uh, trying to look for it but i i don't have it at the moment so i can't show you but i'll uh, i'll post uh, a a video link in which i used it in one of my other uh toyota transmission uh, videos to, to check the fluid level so I, I will post the link on the screen for you guys so anyhow uh 
yeah you want to make sure it's on leveled ground because uh you you want to get the correct uh, fluid level when you are checking it for the rear differential and for the front transfer case so over here you have the the drain plug here and you have the fill plug that's on the side here i'm not able to show you guys but it's on the side over here so the fill plug is in the back here. I'm using a 24 millimeter half drive socket. And for the bottom drain plug, you can just use a regular wrench if you want. It's a bit <laughs> difficult <laughs> to get behind here. But on this model, it's a little easier compared to the previous uh, <laughs> model year. Uh, Sienna uh vans so i'm just going to break this loose now so here's the uh the fill plug over here There's a drain gasket that's uh, that is uh, <laughs> stuck onto the transfer case here. <coughs> so we are going to drain the fluid now. You want to clean the magnet here and change the drain gasket. So I replaced the uh, the drain gasket on this one here. I will place the part numbers if possible. And uh, I will also I will put the torque spec on the screen for you guys as well I cleaned the magnet too so now I'm just uh, closing it up just going to, to tighten it down what you guys can do you can just like like use a pick or something to get on to remove the old gasket uh, i wasn't able to show you guys on camera it's uh, very difficult to, uh, to access there's not that much uh, working room here so i just use a pick uh, like this to get onto the drain gasket so now uh, i'm going to fill up the uh the transfer case now uh, okay pump it so we're just uh, uh filling up the fluid uh because the drive line filler tool is very big i'm having somebody to uh, to pump the fluid into me Uh, this transfer case also takes, I believe, 75 W90 GL5 gear oil. Uh, this doesn't take very much, probably about uh, half a liter or so. Okay, stop. Now you see the fluid is uh, trickling out. So we're going to take this out now and uh, uh, close it up. So we are going to, to tighten up the fill plug now. So we are just going to wash everything down now.
So uh, I'm, I'm working uh, <laughs> very late today, and, and that's all you need to know to do the, the service for both the transfer case and the differential. <laughs> that's it for today. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please don't forget to give it a like, and please consider subscribing to my channel if you're not already a subscriber, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day, and take care, <laughs> and have a good night.